we didn't have deep cool products on PC Crazy channel uh, at all and now it's time to review some stuff from them. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about Matrix 70 case and this is a standard case without any RGB or uh, extra stuff. This is it guys. Now here as you can see I already have the fans uh, right inside uh, installed actually the whole build. Uh, and this is why I'm going to have two mini series, uh, well, two extra reviews of the Deepcool products. Now, we're talking here about uh, the Matrix 70 case, and I'm going to show you about the thumb screws that I was talking about and how to remove the side panel. As you can see, you just remove, remove these thumb screws glass pops out and you just pull it out this is it guys so uh, tempered glass as you can see side panel so yeah let's remove that and then we get to the interior of the case uh, it has a nice power supply shroud as I said you have a whole line here and the deep cool uh, logo with the top uh, glass as well part of the power supply shroud. Now this is a perfect thing if you're going with some uh, clean uh, cable management uh, like I did with the with the cable mods but uh, in any other situation it will reflect uh, from the top if you have some RGB fans or something like that it will definitely reflect something and give a nice glow but let me show you what I'm talking about Now, the thing is, the one thing that I was really uh, surprised is when I turned on this PC for the first time, I saw this kind of line and I said, cool, it has an LED, but it doesn't. Unfortunately, in this Matrix 70 without RGB and everything, it does not have uh, LED strip behind this line. So I added a cable mod uh, RGB strip from behind and connected it to the motherboard, so it has a nice glow to it. Now when it comes to liquid cooling there's also a solution for that here as well. Uh, you have the possibility to place uh, three, up to 360 radiator on front and up to 360 radiator on top as well as 120 millimeter radiator at the back. Pre-installed fans in this Matrix uh, 70 case you get one uh, 120 millimeter fan right at the back non-RGB since this is a non-RGB I just place a lot of RGB inside uh, now uh, as you can see since this is a glass uh, top side of the power supply shroud you can't place maybe you can but for now you can't place anything here and the problem with that uh, talking about the pump and the reservoir combo or just the pump you can place it probably here because it has a loads of space which it isn't covered so it gives you the ability to place I don't know two SSDs since it has right here some extra holes for it or you could place the pump uh, pump and rest combo or something like that front dust filter which has this kind of holes to put it in now the thing is if you place the radiator you can forget about the filter since the filter has this kind of uh, holes that uh, that just placed in as you can see here it has this kind of standouts that you place inside the parts of the case and that way it uh, sticks inside the case but since they're uh, going with the MF120S fans this case is basically designed for them and that's why the dust filter is behind the fans so this is a bit different uh, but on top you have a completely different situation you have a magnetic dust filter for the 360 radiator and for instance if you place it like so here on, on the back it will be much easier I mean it took me like one second to place it in and one second to place it out but let's check uh, more dust filters as usual you have a fairly fairly long dust filter here at the bottom it's practically uh, going through the whole uh, bottom side of the case so uh, it's I would say for 360 as well but it doesn't matter and it's easily placed uh, back in there's no uh, hinges that are making any problems you know when you there are some cases when you place the bottom dust filter they suddenly get stuck so you need to place your hand beneath and that kind of similar things now the case has a uh, nice design it's really uh, 
fine finish, it doesn't have any problems with the final cuts and uh, coloring and some scratches or anything like that, the case around in a perfect condition. Uh, talking about the airflow, since you could since everything is open basically you have the front uh, glass panel but you can easily uh, get the airflow from these side parts and i can normally feel the air going in here because uh, fans are really nicely distanced from the front glass so they can uh, get the air from the uh, side panels that are nicely cut out and get nice and enough air inside the case uh, the top uh, filters and the top parts are fairly large so you could uh, so the fans can pull out the hot air uh, on the top and the one at the back the 120 millimeter fan is uh, also doing a nice job so basically airflow is without a doubt quite all right talking about the back side you also have as i said uh, two thumb screws as well as the tempered glass and as you can see you can just remove the side panel as well now don't mind the cable management since we have loads of rgb here i was doing this fairly quickly just to get uh, the case done now uh, here for instance here 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 and all on the, all sides of the cases you have this kind of standouts uh, cutouts or whatever you want to call them so you can nicely zip tie the cables uh, you have two more SSD brackets here, so not taking into consideration these two ones. You have two more here, which are held by two thumb screws, and you have two hard drive brackets here at the bottom for 3.5 inch uh, hard drives. Uh, talking about the cable management and the distance between the uh, motherboard tray and the side panel is about two, two and a half, maybe even three centimeters. So that gives you loads of space for the cables. As you can see, 24 pin is uh, well thick. It's like two, two and a half some centimeters, and it uh, still doesn't get to the side panel. So yeah, uh, loads of space. Uh, very nicely, uh, cable management can be done, but. As you can see, RGB takes its tool with loads of cables, so that's another thing to uh, reinvent with the cable management and uh, similar stuff to that. Now let's talk about the top uh, I.O. part with uh, the connectivity and all the buttons it has. So it has one power button, it has one reset button, it has two USB 3.0, one USB 2.0 and you have the audio and microphone uh, jack connector uh, as well. Uh, it could be okay to you to get type C as well. Now we won't go into that part because we're talking about a very nice price range. This uh, case, the Matrix 70 is se well, $70 uh, and the RGB version is 110 actually $109.99 uh, on uh, Newego and Amazon. So uh, I think this is really affordable case with loads of space, uh, really nice design. Uh, you can add uh, LED over here to get the deep cool logo and the line shine really nicely uh, alongside with everything else uh, in here so yeah i mean i'm very satisfied with the case it's uh, it's it's not that light and it kind of gives more about the quality it didn't copy any of the designs from other manufacturers it has a nice uh, tempered glass uh, top power supply shroud cover uh, which is kind of different so that's why i like it uh, the line is really nice touch it's not anything that you usually uh, see Next up we're going to have the Castle uh, 240 RGB uh, all-in-one from Deep Cool uh, Cooling, you've seen it over here. And the third thing is going to be the front fans here, as you can see, these are Deep Cool MF 120S 3x120 millimeter RGB fans with controller so yeah guys thanks for watching see you next time don't forget to sub and like and check the links below that's it bye